In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate all the faithful departed every second day of November. We entrust them to the loving and the merciful hands of our Lord, that he may welcome them into his eternal light and grant them uh, eternal rest. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants, that just as they profess the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. 
because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and he, his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in the slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin if then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. This is the will of my Father, says the Lord, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will, ne and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. As many of us up until this moment are still flocking to cemeteries, columbaries, and other memorial places to give our respect and extend our prayers to our departed loved ones. Ngayong nagtitipon po tayo para alalahanin ang kanilang mga alaala this All Souls Day. At marahil, madami pa din po sa atin ang may onting lungkot, onting kirot, sakit o luha kapag ka dadalaw po tayo sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. We experience this sadness and eventually cry because they left a mark in our lives. Napalapit tayo sa kanila, mahal natin sila, inalagaan natin sila, at naging kasama din natin sila sa lupang ibabaw na ito. At sino ba naman po ang hindi malulungkot sa mga taong sumakabilang buhay na sinasabi nga natin. But my dear brothers and sisters, today at the very beginning of our liturgy of the word, yes, with the tears, with the sadness, the grief that we bear, the word of God wishes to shed light and hope to all of us. The first reading today begins by saying, The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. Such is a precious reality and hope that in death we won't wander anywhere, but we are in God's hands, in God's loving hands. At sa mga kamay ng Diyos, hanggang sa dulo ng ating buhay at hanggang nasa piling na tayo, walang sino, nasa piling na niya tayo, walang sino man ang makakanakaw, aaway o sisira sa atin. God is not only caring all of us now that we are alive and living, but God cares we are in God's hands up until the next. And Jesus wishes us to remind, Jesus wishes to remind us this beautiful message with the gospel we all heard today. Lahat tayo ay muling nasa palad ni Jesus na ating kapatid. And as a loving brother, he would not let his siblings, all of us, to be away from Him, that He wishes not to lose anything, no one, 
lahat tayo ayon niyang mawalay. But all of us, at the end of our lives, may also be raised up to His presence. Nasa kamay sila ng Diyos. At ang kamay ng Diyos, patuloy na mag-aalaga, magpapanatag at maglalaban sa anumang mga masama at magpapalayo sa atin sa Kanya. Hindi po ba kapag may namatay, we console each other with these words, He or she is in a better place now. And yes, it is really a better place because God is taking care of them. Nasa mga kamay na sila ng Diyos na patuloy na magmamahala at mag-aalaga sa kanila. You know, I do believe that whenever we would celebrate All Souls Day, this is also a perfect day for us not only to pray for our departed loved ones, but also to remind ourselves to live well and beautifully. Para sa atin din po ang mga araw, ang araw na ito, para mabuhay tayong ng masaya at ng may saysay. Yes, and we are under the loving hands of God today and until the next, who would always assure us blessings, protections, and whatever kind of blessings He would need to extend. But you know, we are always given the chance. We will be given opportunities where families, friends, people will be also under our hands. At kung may mga tao mang malalagay o ihahabilin sa ating mga kamay, then wag naman din po nating abusuhin ang pagkakataon na ito. It does not mean that once people were under your hands and you will have the freedom to kill them, to let them know that they are hopeless, that they are useless in this world. It does not mean that you have the power, people are under your hands, and you will have that guts to say and even guts to express that you don't care and mind them any longer. That's not being a good father, a good brother, a good sister, and a good neighbor. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. At panalangin din po natin na hanggang mabuhay tayo habang nabubuhay tayo sa mga araw na ito. Oo, nasa kamay po tayo ng Diyos at nasa kamay tayo ng mga taong nasa paligid natin. And even now, we pray that even today, because we are under each other's hands, hopefully no torment shall touch us or wish that no torment, death, may touch us. My dear brothers and sisters, today and until forever, we are under God's loving hands. He promised that no torment, no hate, no pain, no wounds, no sadness may ever touch us. And let us do the same. As we live, we will have people under our hands. And let us also promise the same. Let us promise our love, our care, our affection, and many blessings 
to those under our hands, to those under our care. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth, and in and Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and, died and, and was buried. buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. We believe in the communion of saints. Confident in that act of faith, let us reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the charity of our intercessions. And we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and his cleansing forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen our trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions as we also entrust to the Lord all the intentions offered in this Mass, our prayers for our faithful departed, and also our prayers for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, we commend into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, Wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And do we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you, through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Holy Mass, we wish to invite you for a prayer of blessing at the crypt and their visit and pray for our archbishops from the crypt as well we shall be uh, praying our prayers for the dead and uh, we will proceed as well to the bless blessed souls chapel for the blessing of the names of our the memory and the, the names of our departed loved ones this uh, all souls day we can also uh, benefit or be gifted with a plenary indulgence as we visit cemeteries or memorial places or churches where it is our intention to pray for our departed loved ones and couple them with uh, the praying of the Our Father and uh, the Creed. We keep them in our memory and, and in our prayers and uh, commend them uh, to the loving mercy of our God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather today to pray for our beloved former archbishops, Michael, Gabriel, Rufino, Jaime, and for all the faithful departed. They have passed from death to life in company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life, and is purified now of their faults. 
We pray that God may welcome them among all the saints of heaven. Our response will be, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, let me not be put to shame, let not my enemies exult over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall, put, those shall be put to shame who, who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep His covenant and His decrees. For your name's sake, O Lord, you will pardon my guilt, great as it is. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Let us pray. All-powerful God, whose mercy is never withheld from those who call upon you in hope, look kindly on your servants, Michael, Gabriel, Rufino, Jaime, and all the faithful departed, who departed this life confessing your name, and number them among your saints forevermore. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. For those who would wish to follow, we shall now proceed to the All Souls Chapel for the blessing of the names and the memories of our departed ones.